Maddie from Hotwired Robotics, team number 7013. And we wanted to give teams a couple of tips and tricks uh, on the engineering notebook and show how to improve your engineering notebook and make it really stand out. So let's jump right in. So why focus on the engineering notebook? Well, when our team started out in 2014, we didn't win a single judged award. And about halfway through 2015, our second season, a judge sort of gave us a clue that our engineering notebook needed a little work. And we took this to heart and really had a major revamp of our engineering notebook. So we started putting a lot more time and effort into it. And the result was in 2016, we started to win Inspire multiple times uh, in our last season. So this shows how important the engineering notebook is. So in terms of the judged awards, the engineering notebook actually matters for a lot of awards. When our team started out, we thought that the Think Award was the only award that took the engineering notebook into consideration, which is why we didn't give it, you know, that much importance and didn't put as much time into it as we could have. But so as you can see here, this is taken from the game manual and every primary award takes the engineering notebook into consideration. So you definitely want to refer to this and see which parts that you should really focus on and make strong so that you can, you know, stand a chance to win a lot of awards at several competitions. So in terms of judging, the first time that the judges actually look at your engineering notebook, they only have about one to three minutes. So what does this mean? It means that you really want to differentiate yourself and make your engineering notebook stand out as much as possible. So in terms of the overall purpose of the engineering notebook, first of all, you need to tell your team's story. So more than just a repetitive description of what you did each meeting, you need to really tell your team's journey and you know the challenges you faced, how you overcame them, and the impact you made on the community around you. And you know it kind of helps to fill in the gaps in your judging presentation. The engineering notebook is the only part of your presentation that you can really control. So. Uh, it's important to make sure that you nail it so that when they look at it, they really get a sense of what your team has done throughout the season. So these are the must-haves or the basic requirements uh, according to the game manual. So first of all, you want to have a team name and number on your cover. You want to have a team summary page and you want to have a body with certain required sections that we'll talk about later. So this is basic requirement number one for your engineering notebook. You want to make sure to include, include your team name and number on the cover. So as you can see in this excerpt from the judges manual, it says that the engineering notebook will not be considered without this information. So if your engineering notebook cover looks like the picture on the right, you're probably not going to consi get considered for many awards because your engineering notebook will be you know, taken out of account. So on the left, you see our team's cover. Uh, which includes our team name and number, of course. And on the right, you can see our summary page. So as the season starts out, you're going to focus on the robot and the outreach activities that you did because most of that will be during summer and you know up to the tournament that you're presenting at. However, as the season progresses, you're going to hopefully start achieving more things and winning more awards. And that's when you can start including those things in your summary page, as you can see in the bottom left section of ours. So these are the major sections of the engineering notebook that our team included. So first we started with the team section and then we have our journey where we kind of summarize our design process and our outreach events. And then we have an engineering and design section where we talk about the coding we did, so control, uh, PTC and CAD and the overall design process to get our uh, final product or our robot. And then we have an outreach section where we talk about what outreach events we did and the impact of each of them. And then finally, we have a business plan. So this is what our team section looks like. On the left, you can see a picture with a, basically a simple bio for some of our team members. So we do this for all of our team members just to give the judges a unique look at each member of your team. And on the right side, you can see we broke down the organization of our team. So which subteams we split into, how we split into those subteams, and also how these subteams came together to make our final product and you know, achieve what we did throughout the season. So the engineering design section is going to be where you show your design process. So the best way to do this is by starting out with sketches and whiteboard sketches 
of your basic designs for each component of your robot or your overall robot shape. And then you can evolve into PTC 3D designs or concept sketches. And then finally, you get your physical prototypes and final product. So showing this evolution is very important. And you can do this effectively by using sketches and pictures. Uh, you also want to include some code snippets you know, your any uh, coding that you did throughout the season, and also any calculations that you did. Our team used MathCAD, so we included a lot of MathCAD in this section. So this is an example of one of our meeting entries. On the left, on the top, you can see the basic information, such as the date and time and the members that were present. And below that, you can see a table with our tasks and reflections for that meeting. So this gives a great you know, summary of what we learned from the meeting and what we did in the meeting. But on the right, we uh, elaborate on each of these tasks, and we also include a lot of pictures. And as you can see on the right here, we have design, hardware, software, testing, and outreach. So these are basically just highlighted, color-coded uh, you know, sections on the side to show which each meeting pertains to. And this is really great for showing your design process and journey throughout the season. So this is the rest of that meeting entry. So we talk about key design decisions that we had and the challenges we overcame, and of course, more pictures. And then at the end, you see a little box on the bottom right corner, which says sign by. So this is where you want to make sure at least one person who worked on the tasks in the meeting signs, uh, in addition to someone who documented that meeting and someone who reviewed the documentation for that meeting. So you want to have ideally about two to three people sign. So in terms of the calculations that our team did in our engineering notebook last year, we actually use MathCAD. And we really recommend this to the teams out there because it's a free software from PTC. It's great for equations. It has a really easy to use interface. Uh, it does a lot of conversions for you. It basically does a lot of work for you. And it's very easy to learn. So it's a really clean way of showing all the calculations that you did throughout the season in a way that the judges can understand. So the calculations that you should probably consider including in your engineering notebook, or at least that we definitely consider including, were uh, bending stresses in long arms. So our team usually uses a lot of long arms for scoring, you know, linear slides, things like that. And you can also talk about the load or torque that you calculated on your motors. You can also talk about the gear ratios that you had to figure out to account for the load that each motor can take. And you can also talk about the calculations for the geometric design of some of your parts. For example, last year, our team used a sprocket-based wheel design at a certain point in the season. And for these sprockets, we needed certain dimensions in our notches. And to calculate this, we used MathCAD and included those calculations in our engineering notebook. You can also talk about the time that it takes to accomplish certain tasks or their speed, so such as the number of rotations that the motor requires to lift a certain component to a certain height. So our outreach section includes some of these basic buckets, as you can see on the uh, left side, such as promoting first and or top, engaging with professionals and community outreach, and a couple more. And one thing you really want to do, especially in this section, is talk about the impact that each of these events had on the community. So you want to talk about the number of people you reached, the number of teams you impacted, and the number of hours that your team put in. So this really gives the judges some figures that they can look at to see exactly the scope of your outreach and how impactful it was on the community. This is one of our specific outreach entries, uh, the Intel Von Lerikers Open House. And on the left side, just like a meeting, we have the basic information, time, date, who is present, tasks, and reflections. And then on the right side, we elaborate on what exactly we did at the outreach event. And then, of course, the impact that we had on the community, which uh, is where you want to include those figures, and also what we learned, so the impact that the event had on our team. This is pretty much the last main section of the engineering notebook, the business plan. And in this section, you want to include some of your major goals throughout the season. So those can be team goals like design and outreach, and of course, funding goals, which is what the business plan is mainly for. So you want to talk about all the sponsors and outreach partners you have, and even the sponsors that you attempted to you know, attain throughout the season, because the judges want to see you know, your failures and your success. And you also want to include some kind of plan or timeline to show how you plan on achieving those goals throughout the season. 
And you also want to include, include something like a SWOT analysis, which is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And of course, the grants that you applied for. And you also want to talk about, talk about which ones you received. So don't leave out the ones you didn't receive because that just shows, uh, if you do include those, it shows how much work you put into to um, achieve funding. So there's a team engineering notebook self-reflection sheet provided by FTC. And this kind of serves as a final check once you've almost finished your engineering notebook. So this has a lot of optional sections that you should definitely consider to strengthen your engineering notebook and set it apart, such as a strategic plan section, a sustainability section, and a budget section. And you can also make sure to ensure that everyone is contributing in each of these sections, that everyone's con contributing to the engineering notebook uh, and you know, each of the tasks that you talk about in the engineering notebook. So overall, judging is just a really hard process. It's tedious and it lasts throughout the day. They have to determine the top three ranked teams for each judged award. And the way they do that is by actually talking to the rest of the judges. So throughout the course of one tournament, you're probably not going to reach every single judge that's present at the tournament. So you want to make sure that the judges that represent you have something to represent you with. So we usually use a handout, which is basically just a judging summary. It has a judging summary with the outreach events that we had, the impact that they each had on the community, and then also the design process, and also some of our you know sponsors. And you also want to try to make your engineering notebook very navigatable. So the way you can do this is by including colored tabs that refer to the sections of content that are specific to each award. So that way, if the judges are considering uh, nominating you for an award, they can easily find the part of the engineering notebook that pertains to that award. So just make it for e as easy for the judges as possible. So overall, uh, you know, our engineering notebook obviously isn't perfect. There's a lot of work that we have to do uh, throughout the coming seasons. And we learned a lot from the engineering notebooks that we saw at Worlds. There were a lot that were better than ours. And we learned a lot from those throughout the season. So we wanted to, you know, help any of the teams out there who are looking for this kind of guidance. And hopefully we did, we did that today. And if you want some more information and tutorials like this one, you can check our social media outlets out or go to our website.